good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today we have some brand new wwe action figure championship belts and not just any championship belts guys these are completely custom made metal plates leather straps by my boy last smith you guys know who last smith is he has been featured here on the channel multiple times you know he produced a finn balor custom championship we have seen some uh custom championships that have been featured in my pick fed there is some uh there's a lot he's made a lot of good championships that have been featured here today and we have a brand new package that i have not opened just yet i have you know cut it open obviously but i haven't pulled out the championships and we're gonna get straight into it guys because i'm super excited to see what he sent us and i do know what this one is i just have a feeling i know which one this is but i have not peeked inside and seen the rest of the custom championship belts so i guess we can just dump it out and then you will be oh my god we can be surprised together i was gonna say and my god i guess i can say yowie wowie for this one guys look at this championship right here i cannot believe this dude I saw this on his page, but I did not know that he would be sending this our way right here. Look at this right here. It is a custom Bray Wyatt championship. And look at that right there, dude. In the middle plate, you have the mask of Bray Wyatt. You guys know he was repackaged. He's got like his new gimmick going on. You got the Firefly Funhouse going on. Look at the details in this championship, dude. You have the mask in the middle. You have the buzzards on the outside plates. Again, this is all completely hand carved into metal, put onto leather straps. Like, see, these are metal plates, guys. That it has the heft to it. As you know, you throw it over your shoulder on the turnbuckle, and there you go. You got, you know, it flaps over. It's not like stiff or anything. You can see in the dividers of the championship, these are actually chainsaws, like cut out. Look at that. It's supposed to be a chainsaw like Bray Wyatt uses on the Firefly Funhouse. You have hurt, and then you have heel right there, like on his gloves. My God, at the details in this thing, man. I absolutely love this. This may be one of my favorite title belts in my collection now. That is fantastic, dude. You need to go order. And this is the thing, is that he makes custom championships, guys. So, like, if you have an idea in your head, he can bring it to life and make it for you. What a beautiful looking belt, man. That is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to lay this right here. We'll take a look at what it looks like on Bray Wyatt here soon. But let's go ahead and pull this out because I want to take a look at this, uh, this mask. It looks like he sent us a mask as well. And look at that, dude. That is freaking epic, too. So now we have a Bray Wyatt mask to go with our Bray Wyatt Custom Championship. And hopefully it fits the figure well. I hope that it fits nicely and, you know, goes on the figure and looks good and everything. But there is the mask. I love that. It's got good, it's leather too, so it's, it's got real material on it and everything. Very nice, well made. Doesn't tear in half or anything like that. So there is our Bray Wyatt mask and our Bray Wyatt championship. Beautiful. Dude, I can't get over all the details in this. I love the buzzers and the chainsaws. That is freaking sweet, nasty farticles. Next up, guys, it looks like we have like a half and half women's championship. The SmackDown Live slash Raw Women's Championship. And I would actually be for this. You know, there was a lot. You know, you guys know how I feel about the women's divisions. He even made it small so it's, you know it fits the women's figures better but maybe this is what we'll get if they ever merge the women's divisions which I think they should I think it would do a lot better for the women's division I think that it would add to it it would make it a lot better you wouldn't get the same matchups over and over you would actually get some fresh matchups across both brands but this looks epic you got the Smackdown Live slash Raw Women's Championships sort of combined here and I like this a lot so I guess this would go with Becky Two Belts she's no longer Becky Two Belts but it's still it's still cool to see and maybe you could put that on her um, Oh my god, he did it to us, guys. He did it to us. He gave us the brand new WWE 24-7 championship. And I think Lass's 24 championship that he has made here, guys, looks a lot better than the one that WWE gave us. Look at that right there, green strap. You got the big dinner plate in the middle on the front plate. You got the side plates, those blank side plates that look pretty awful. Last makes it look really good here in figure form, guys. The 24-7 championship has made its way to MDT, even though we already know what the 24-7 championship is. It's the extreme championship on MDT Live, isn't that right? But we're definitely going to take a look at what our truth looks like in this championship, but... I like the way this looks in figure form. I don't know. It's kind of fun to look at. I wasn't the biggest fan of the belt when they first revealed it on WWE. I think it's going to make for some entertaining segments. You guys heard my 
my uh, my whole spill on it. We've covered it here on the channel, but I am very happy to add this to my figure belt collection, especially for pay-per-views and stuff. If they have official matches for the belt, and if they do stuff like that, then this will be really cool. When they do it for pay-per-views, I can actually put it in the predictions videos and all of that good jazz. But there's the 24-7 championship, and it looks like he sent us the Xavier Woods GameStop exclusive right here, guys. If you guys don't know who, well, everybody knows who uh, Xavier Woods is, but if you guys don't know, if you guys don't know, Xavier Woods has a YouTube channel called Up, Up, Down, Down. It is a video game YouTube channel that he does here on the platform. And it is called Up, Up, Down, Down. And this is the world championship for it. You know, he does Madden tournaments. He does tournaments across different platforms. Like, he, I think he does Mortal Kombat and he does stuff like that. And he does have, uh, I guess this is supposed to be pink on the back here. I don't know if it's pink in real life on the back. I'm sure it is because last is all about accuracy and stuff. But it does have this weird shape to it. You can see up, up, down, down. It's got the directional pads here with the up and then the down, down. And then you have the pink arrows. Very nice looking figure belt, man. I love this. I did not know I was getting this one either. I don't always watch Xavier Woods' gaming channel, but I do watch it from time to time, and I know what it is. And it's cool to have this belt. I think Kofi Kingston is the current up, up, down, down champion. He beat Seth Rollins in something or something like that over on that channel. So if you guys want to check that out. But a really cool belt. Even WWE Shop now sells this championship, which is really cool. You know, they got to get their two cents into it. They got to put their thumbprint on it. So they were like, man, if you're going to make that belt, let's let's sell some to the public. So they do have this championship up for sale. But there is that championship. So we have the Up, Up, Down, Down championship. We have the 24-7 title. We have the Women's SmackDown Live slash Raw championship. We have the Yowie Wowie championship is what I'm calling it. You got the Bray Wyatt mask. And in here, guys, we have the ultimate prize. And I'm super excited to unveil this right now because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Let's go ahead and take it out here. Unveil it from this fuzziness here. And oh my goodness gracious alive. Check out this championship, guys. It is the official AEW World Championship for WWE slash AEW action figures. Oh my goodness, would you look at this belt? It looks absolutely fantastic. AEW Championship, guys, triple stacked like it is in real life. You have the big old massive plates in the middle. Metal plates all stacked up with the gold and the silver and the AEW logo. You have the small AEW logos here. You have all of that detail flying in. Oh my goodness, how crispy is this championship? Who's going to bring this thing home? We have Chris Jericho taking on Adam Hangman Page at All Out on August 31st. Who is going to bring this championship home? I cannot wait for that show, man. I am all for AEW. I'm all for everything they're doing over there. I am super excited for the promotion. I'm super excited for all of it to start. And my God, I love Double or Nothing. And I am so excited to see who goes home with this. I really wanted Kenny Omega to beat Chris Jericho, but... I guess I can understand what they're trying to do here. Having Moxley feud with Kenny Omega right out of the gate. And it's so cool to see, man, because this is a championship that is going to be the, the icon for AEW. And who is going to, you know, rock that championship? We're going to take a look at what this is going to look like on Jericho Omega. Maybe we can get Moxley in here, obviously. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go over there and get a few figures. I mean, I think we need to get maybe Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods for the up, up, down, down. We're going to get R-Truth for the 24-7. Maybe Becky Lynch for this. Yowie Wowie, we got to get Bray Wyatt over here to try on the mask as well. And then we'll look at, you know, those, those men that I mentioned for this championship as well. So let me go ahead and grab that. We'll take a look at what all the figures look like with the championships on and then we will uh go on with the video all right guys here are all four superstars i did not grab xavier woods or kofi but we do have the rest and i didn't grab becky lynch either but we'll just uh we'll set those over to the side and we will take a look at the rest here the the bray wyatt championship man this is so epic i want to make sure that i try this mask on i don't know exactly how i'm going to do this because i don't think there's velcro or anything on it but maybe we can uh fix it behind the hair or something and get this to work. Let me see if I can get it real quick. So here is Bray Wyatt, guys, with his mask and his Yowie Wowie Championship. I just like the, the name of that, right? I mean, it's got to be the Yowie Wowie Championship. But here he is with his title belt. Here he is with the mask on. Really like the way it came out. The mask may be a little bit too big, and you can't really clasp it on there. So what I did was just run those leather straps through his hair, through the back of his head there, and it actually stays on quite nice. So I guess that does work out pretty good. Again, I love the details in this championship belt, man. The, the way he has the buzz 
buzzers on there is very creative. The dividers being chainsaws with the actual words hurt and heal spelled out in the handles. I mean, that is that is like te tier one great stuff, man. So there's Bray Wyatt in his new gimmick looking great. Need to get a Firefly Funhouse custom Bray Wyatt is what I need to do. Next up, we do have the 24-7 championship. What I can do is just go ahead and strap it up here, and then I will go ahead and place it on R-Truth because he's probably the main guy holding it. I know Elias held it for a short bit, Bobby Roode, and also Titus O'Neil. But we can go ahead and just throw this on our truth because, you know, this is uh, this is his championship right now. This is sort of the gimmick that they're going for. And I like it because it's a comedic title belt and uh, he, he's a comedic role. He's very underrated. I think he is sort of, I think he's one of the most underrated wrestlers in the entire world, guys. I mean, this man is so entertaining. He's hilarious. He knows what he's doing there. And there's the 24-7 title with our truth So that looks good, too. And now, finally, guys, I'm not going to put the championship, I guess, on Kenny Omega because uh, he lost, right? He lost. He lost to Chris Jericho in that number one contendership match for the AEW Championship. So I guess we can just put the AEW Championship on Chris Jericho. And it's going to be cool to see if they actually give the title to Jericho. Or are they going to put it on Hangman Page, who they have clearly established as one of their stars. So there's Chris Jericho with the title, man. What a beautiful looking championship. If you guys watch the Young Bucks and Being the Elite, Nick Jackson actually put the championship on. It's actually very big. So this is pretty... Uh, this is pretty accurate here. This championship is going to be massive when it gets on AEW television. I know you guys have seen the title belt already. If you haven't, you need to go look at pictures because it looks fantastic. But when you put the thing on, I mean, it looks like it's very heavy. It looks hefty like you're seeing here with Chris Jericho. But there we go, guys. You have the AEW title, the 24-7 title, and the Yowie Wowie Championship. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys would like to pick up any of these belts you see today or you would like to custom order any championships in the future or any ideas for championships that you have. Maybe Last can bring them to life. Go over to Instagram, guys. Search up Last Smith. Hit him up for a deal. Men mention my name. You will get some money off of your order. But I love all these belts. Thank you so much, bro, for all of these. They, lo they lo Again, they look absolutely brilliant. They're very professionally done. All handmade with metal and leather. And you guys should go get some work done or order one of these championships yourselves. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.